Welcome back. You're on The Breathing World with me, Melissa Chowder. Coming up later, we've got a really interesting piece on cave art in Holland. But first, a Breathing World exclusive. My special guest, megastar and savior, Crow. Crow, this is not the first time we've met, is it? No, Melissa. We met last week in the jungles of Peru when you came to see me recording my new album. It was really incredible. I love the jungle. Thanks, yeah. Sometimes I really like to get back to me roots spiritually. Yes, you could see that by the 70-foot RV you had flown in just how much. The inside was great, and that water bed. Oh, I need an air-conditioned environment for me yoga. I tried a Native American sweat lodge once. I know ways to hallucinate in a much cooler environment, thank you. Anyway, play the tape. That's why I agreed to come on the show. I could have gone on anywhere. Okay, okay. Well, here is me speaking to Crow last week in a jungle in Peru. Can I get some peppermint tea, please? My digestive tract is bunged up. I need to crap. I'm here in Peru looking to visit the river dolphins at a five-star nature preserve. And, uh, oh my God, that's Crow. Wow. Imagine meeting you and, and your PR guy here in the jungle in Peru. Uh, uh, oh, and also a photographer. Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh, I I'm Melissa Chowder. I'm here for the interview and photo opportunity. Your people Oh, uh, yeah, up. yeah, listen, I come here to get my people and get away from things. Hey, uh, where's my assistant? Look, look you got five minutes. So uh -oh, okay, for... all right. Well, um, you look really at home here in the Peruvian rainforest. Well, sometimes it feels like this is where I belong. I'm, I'm here to make an album to stop the catastrophic tragedy of genital mutilation. Yes. I would never let anyone mutilate my genitals. What? I might let him have a go at it, but not the real deal. Well, that is great. Um, but what I really wanted to talk to you about is your inoculation program. Do you love your genitals? Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Can you I, I play mean, a I tambourine? What? Wait, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. That's a penis gourd. Huh. When I shake it, I make music. I've inoculated every kid in this village, inoculated them against the evils of capitalism. I'm sorry, what? Money would just corrupt them, so instead, I've repaid them for the cultural education with some beads. Something I learned off the Americans. You dick. I oh, know, it's huge. Anyway, I spent yesterday doing drugs nobody has heard of. That's the great thing about the Amazon. It's, it's vital to my work. Listen. What? Do you hear that? No. It's the sound of life. I've tapped into that energy in my new record. It's very important. Um, you know what? I want to talk to you for a minute about something that is really beautiful. Natural birth. Oh, it's terrible. Stretches everything out like this. Oh, get off! Oh my god, put that gourd back on. Yeah, that was me meeting Crow last week in the jungles of Peru. And you know what? I should sue your ass. I went in Rome, love. <laughs> now, Crow, one yeah. thing you've long campaigned against is medication. Oh, yeah, the yeah. world is so beautiful. It just never makes sense to me why people would want to mess with it. Mm. I mean, I never use drugs or tampons or anything that pollutes the water supply. Exactly. I mean, a little bit of recreational snort is okay, but malaria drugs do your bloody favor. They kill more people than they save. To be honest, we're all one people. I, I honestly believe that. So right, it's okay if some people die as long as I live. Yin and yang, you know what, love? <laughs> I think my down dog is on eight. Fancy a rail? No. No, no, Dwight. Ruins me buzz. Me buzz is life, man. <laughs> it's like one day I was saying to myself, Crow was saying, what does the world need? The world needs you, mate. Me, mate? Yeah. Crow, the world needs you. I cried. It was a complicated interior dialogue, fella. But I am a complicated person, unique. Yeah, you're a rock and roll singer with messianic delusions. Really, completely original. You know, I thought you cared about the environment. Melissa, look at me. I am the environment. Look at my soul. I know it's a cliché, rock god wants to save the world, but that does not stop it being right. Listen, I can have sex for five hours without coming. My testes swallowed a cum. It's incredible. But really, I'm paying it into this tantric sex lock. I, I met some really important tribal chiefs down in Zimbabwe. They initiated me into the tribe by butchering an endangered lion and killing a neighbouring tribe. Man, it was beautiful. That's the power of rock and roll, the way Crow does it. We're all one, love. Crowfest 98. It's for a good cause. Great. So you heard it from the horse's mouth, people. The crow's mouth. It's Crow, not horse. Shut up. 
Anyway, that's all we have time for. Crow's new album will be out soon and in the bargain bin shortly after that. This has been Breathing World. Recycle, please. We're all suffocating here. We are fucking... Yeah, shot on this. Uh, uh.